Sometimes you want to show more details on a dashboard without making it feel cluttered. So I'll show a dynamic zone visibility trick in Tableau that lets users click a plus to expand details for a segment. And you can even expand multiple segments at once. Then just click the X to collapse the details when you're done. I used a table for my details here, but you can use any visual you want. Since I'm going to have one of these pluses for each segment, I'll start by moving segment into the columns. Then I'll create a parameter and show how to transform it to behave like a multi-value parameter. That way users can expand multiple plus signs at once. I'll change the data type to a string and leave the current value empty. Next, we need to determine if a segment is selected, and we can use a calculated field for that. I'll type contains the plus parameter, comma the segment. And this will return true when the segment is in the parameter list. So I'm going to move this field into the marks, change the mark type to a shape, and make the selected field determine the shape. You can see that right now they're all false, and that's because nothing's selected within the parameter. I left this blank on purpose so we can use a calculated field to dynamically populate it. This is saying if the segment's already in the parameter list, then remove it. And if it's not in the list, add it to the parameter with a comma at the end. So this logic allows us to store multiple values in a single parameter. So I need to move this field into the marks so I can use it in the action later. But before I add the action, I'm just going to quickly sort the segment so it's in the order I want. Then I'll hide the header for segment, format the worksheet, and remove the shading and row dividers. Now on the dashboard, I can add the worksheet. I'll hide the title of the worksheet and set this to fill the entire view. Then I'll resize the worksheet. That way each shape sits neatly next to its segment title. And to make these buttons functional, I'll go to the Dashboard tab at the top and hit Actions. I'll add a Change Parameter action. And under Source Sheets, I'll start by unchecking everything that is in the Plus worksheet. I'll target the Plus parameter and use the Segment value as the source field. So now when I click on one of the shapes, you can see it changes from False to True. So instead of a circle, it's a square. But these shapes aren't super intuitive. So using the shapes that come with Tableau, I'm going to assign false, a filled in plus sign, and true, a filled in X. I also want to make these symbols match the colors on my dashboard. So within the worksheet, I'll drag segment into the marks and make this a color. And this is a small thing, but I don't love the default highlighting when interacting with this worksheet. So I'm going to show how to remove that before I customize the icons and add the expanding details. This is super easy. We just need to create a calculated field for true with the value true. Then I'll create another calculated field for false with the value false. Then I'll add both of these into the marks. And on the dashboard, I'll use the dashboard tab again to add an action. But this time I'll add a filter action to remove that highlighting effect. For the source sheet, I'll start by unchecking everything that isn't the plus worksheet. Then for the target sheet, I'll use the drop down to select the plus worksheet. I want clearing the section to show all values and I want to run the action on select. Then I'll choose selected field so I can set true as the source field and false as the target field. Now I can interact with these buttons without that highlighting effect. Next I'll show how we can use custom shapes for these buttons. Instead of just using whether the segment is selected or not to determine the shape, Instead, I'll take the string of this true-false field, then add the segment field. And this will give us a combination of values of whether it's selected or not, and the segment. Then I'll remove the segment coloring. And now I can pick my custom shapes. I created these in Canva and loaded them in here, but I have another video on how to do that. And using the size slider, I can increase the size of these shapes. On the dashboard, I'll toggle each of these buttons to their other state. Then I'll edit the shapes again and assign each one to the shapes. This gives us full control over the design of the buttons. Now that we've set up the dynamic zone visibility, we just need to create what we want to show or hide. And I'm just going to fast forward through me creating a simple table with metrics for my data set. But you can use any visual you want. And since the buttons control whether the worksheet appears for a given segment, you can literally build whatever visual you want inside this space. Then just go to the dashboard and add the worksheet. I'll hide the title of the worksheet and set this to fill the entire view. And to make sure the dynamic zone visibility works so that we only see the table when the plus icon is clicked, we can go to the worksheet and drag in the segment selected field to the filters and set this to only true. 
That way the details only show when the segments button is selected. And so we don't confuse users with all these details, I'll go to the plus worksheet and remove everything in the tooltip. That way we don't see any text when we click the button. The table's position is also independent of the button. So you can place it anywhere on your dashboard and it doesn't have to be aligned with the button for the expand collapse functionality to work. The last thing I'm thinking here is to change the background color of the table. That way it kind of stands out better. Then I'll just duplicate the worksheet, swap out the filter and color for each segment, and add them all to the dashboard. Now we have a clean, dynamic way to add more details to a dashboard without overwhelming it. And users can explore the data they care about and collapse the rest when they're done.